Hey there YouTube, uh, quick SOLIDWORKS tutorial for you today. We're going to show you how to export an assembly file as a single STL file. Um, so note, we're pretty clean and clear desktop here. So we'll come down here, pull up SOLIDWORKS. Um, so I already have my assembly file created. So this is my assembly. It's the, uh, you know, kind of the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade. I had developed this, uh, designed it, I guess. Um, my my first year at Iowa State University. Um, so I'd like to get this 3D printed, which I actually have done a number of times um, for sale. So we're going to go ahead, uh, go to File, and we are going to go Save As. Rebuild and Save Document, that's fine. Well, I'd like to share this on my desktop just so I can show you really quickly. So normally, uh, so it normally saves an assembly file. We're going to switch this to an STL file so I can get ready for 3D printing. Click on Options. Um, this is what the option that you want to select if you're going to save in a single file. Save all components in a single file. Pretty straightforward. Check your deviations and tolerancing. I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do that. So we hit Save. It's going to create 40 files. Let me just show you how terrible that is. So now it's loading, it's loading. So we're going to go ahead, minimize this, and look at all this mess. We we don't want that. Um, you know, this is a pain in the butt for 3D printing. Um, this is what you want to do, though, if you want your parts to be able to move. Uh, you would want it in separate parts. However, um, I want this as a single solid model just to, for represent uh, presentation purposes. Uh, I need to test it on my costume to see if it will work. So what we're going to do... Um, so I, you know, I don't care so much if it, if the function of it works, or they check that, and I know it works. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to save as again, STL file options. We do want this all as a single piece, and hit save. Oh wait, I saved the wrong file. So that that was my my apologies. I meant to save it on my desktop. But there we go, STL. See how fast you get uh, as soon as you know how this works. Yes, number of triangles. File size. No, it doesn't tell me how many files because it will be one single file. Hit OK. Go ahead and minimize all words. And there you go. You have one single assembly file. Um, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.